Hey guys, uh, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe if you like our content. So today we're just going to go through a simple lecture series called the typical unit operations in a recirculating system. So these are the typical unit operations you we need for any recirculating aquaculture systems. Uh, this is a simplified flow diagram, meaning that in some cases uh, the process flow could be much more complicated than these five operations. So usually, uh, let's start off with the culture tanks. Culture tanks can be a tank in which uh, you are farming your uh, species of target. After which you have a solid remover, which removes all the feces, uneaten feed followed by biofiltration which converts all of the harmful ammonia into least toxic form. Uh, dissolved gas control will be adding oxygen and remove the necessary carbon dioxide from the systems and disinfection will include um, to remove any pathogens in our system. So how is RAS uh, used in our crab farm? Essentially we have only uh, these five main processes. First are the culture tanks in which you see on the left which are the cellular system in which uh, crabs are farmed in individual boxes. Solid remover is then made out of the sand filters that is essentially a media filter that filter out any feed and uh, uh, uneaten uh, uh, feed or feces. And biofiltration and aeration is actually done in the biofiltration tank uh, which is a moving bait biofilm reactor in which bacteria goes on these plastics and processes uh, the ammonia into less uh, toxic form with the help of uh, aeration and the lastly is uh, the UV filter in which uh, UV is used to kill off any pathogens, uh, bacteria and viruses that might jeopardize the crabs and lastly the water is uh, recirculated back into the culture tanks and reused. So that's all for today uh, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture uh, have a great day